And joining me right now in the studio is Ms. Han Hua, who is a media and communication consultant. She's here with us today to discuss the results of the 53rd Golden Horse Awards. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Okay, now this year, the filmmakers and actors from China really swept up all the major trophies yes. at the Golden Horse Awards. Can you tell us more about why this occurred? Uh, first of all, congratulations to the players of this movie industry. It is really a very happy result. But other than to answer a why question, I think the Chinese, especially the mainland Chinese film, has been keeping or maintaining this momentum for almost five years not only in the Golden Horse Awards ceremony, but also in the Hong Kong Films Awards ceremony, and even in some other international films festivals. So uh, instead of asking or answering why, I think I'd rather to explain how and what, because this is most, which is called the most prestigious Chinese language film awards. Right. Uh, the Chinese film who won this best director, best film, best actress and actors. They actually deliver a very quality film in content, in their acting and in directing. So I congratulate them on this, not only because that China is developing so rig rigorously and so aggressively that's with the economic background, with the political movement, that we have seen the box office is proportionate to the awards, but also we see the quality, the, uh, the engagement and the, the progress of the mainland Chinese film. This is the part we should congratulate. Right, so you mm. really think it's developing yes. and yes. has improved from previous exactly. years. Exactly. And maybe my second question ties into the first one, but a lot of surprising things did happen at right. this year's Golden Horse Awards, right. and we'll get to more of that later. Yeah. But unlike what usually happens, where you know a contender for uh, a film award usually gets several nominations, and they'll usually take home more than one or two, but this year there were so many films that had a lot of nominations, but they walked away with one or two awards, sometimes even none, and a lot of the Taiwan and Hong Kong films that were expected to do well yes. didn't do so well. So can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, one example is the, the film called uh, Godspeed, which is a Taiwan, Taiwanese film. And it has already got eight nominations for this award, but end up with only one minor award. So it's, it's a pity. It's like a two sides of a one coin. You have the ups and you have to see the downs. I actually respect the, uh, the committee, the judging committee of the Golden Horse Award because they kept seeing, saying that at the end of the day, it is not the region or not the, you know, where are you coming from, but it's the quality of the film. It's the content which decides who can win the, the major awards. So sometimes uh, I think the Hong Kong Film Awards, even the Golden Rooster in from mainland China, as well as Golden Horse, they try to reach a balance to see a combination or a joint efforts by mainland Chinese players, by mainland the movie players, by the Taiwanese movie directors of actors of Hong Kong. But this time, they only vote for the quality. Uh, this is one reason. And the other phenomenon, I, I, from my perspective, is that uh, actually, for example, the soulmate, the film which help the two young ladies to win, to win the best actress, right. actually is directed by a Hong Kong film director. Mm. So it's a joint effort yes, at the end of the day. <laughs> so it's still a balance or to show all the Chinese uh, film directors or industry players, they are moving towards the same direction to present to the audience the real quality Chinese films. Right, and speaking <laughs> of directors, yes. The night's one of the big winners, director Feng Xiaogang yes. for his film I Am Not Madame Bovary, starring Fan Bingbing, who really played down her appearance for this role yeah. as a peasant who is seeking justice from her swindling husband. Right. But it's really a movie about one woman going up against bureaucracy and the system. And I know traditionally in China, movies like these are quite sensitive. So how do you think Feng Xiaogang 
was able to overcome that in portraying this film. This is actually one of Feng Xiaogang's or uh, his unique uh, balance. A unique capability in getting a balance through the political <laughs> or the movie censorship in mainland China. He is very able to portray the uh, big or macro environment, macro issues through some ordinary people's lives and only focus a specific uh, field or a specific perspective rather than to criticize the whole system. So this is the way that he can do that and he can manage the, the censorship as well as the, the balance between the censorship and the, the quality very well. So this time for this film, he also did, he also did that and delivered right. a quite nice film. He only criticized the justice system and the criticized the bureaucracy, but not, not the whole system, but that saying that the corruption, if, if the official at every level, if they don't do anything for people, it can be defined as corruptive. This is a very unique but very essential perspective because the, the government is not only the soft, which is the censorship, the watchdog, but also it can reflect the audience. It can grasp the hearts of the audience that, okay, the officials should do something. So this mm. is his capability. Very powerful mm. indeed yes. to have. Now, another director, Zhang Dalei, his mm. black and white film, The Summer is Gone, was probably the biggest surprise winner of the night. It took home yes. the Best Picture Award um, set in 1990s Mongolia about a family vacation, vacationing there in a time of transition, economic reforms, jobs being decreased at state-owned enterprises. And, you know, when this movie did its festival run, many critics thought that only a small audience mm -hmm. would highly appreciate a film like this. Now, it is an art house film, so mm -hmm. do you think that says something, because it did win this award, about the growing popularity of art house films in China? Yeah, I want to share with you this moment when Zhang Dalei was announced as the, the winner of the best film director and he was chewing a gum and he didn't even realize that he could ever win this, film, uh, this, this award. So this actually shows that it, it, it intended to be a very, uh, very niche film audience uh, to reflect the director's personal life and to show his respect towards his father, father and the, the fathers in, in that period. But turns out that the Golden Horse Award Committee, the judge committee, actually appreciate this kind of try and exploration to show the, the warmth and the sincerity from that particular period of time. There are many films actually before trying to portray that period of time, but most of them, most of these films are trying to portray them, that period in a very um, either very, how to say, critical way or some negative tone. But this film shows us the best part of that film, of that period, and the best part that our fathers can leave to us to memorize from nowadays perspective. Right, okay. Mm. And we are running out of time, but I do want to touch on the two actresses sharing the sure. Best Lead Actress Award. Yes. A very unusual situation. History yes. was made. Can you explain that phenomenon? <laughs> It shows, uh, congratulate to these young ladies, they're they still very young and they have a very long way to go, but this is a very good start. Actually, it is this film which, you know, presented in a very warm and uh, we can say it uh, very small, very warm, very certain and happiness way to show that in their <laughs> teenager turning into ladies, how they cope with the friendship, the relationship, and the, the families and uh, you know the outside world so that is actually the warm part this is actually the the uniqueness the feature of this year's golden horse award well the two actresses are certainly soulmates in that respect soulmates. and which the, is the title one of the actress film. even said that we are actually one 
with actors who won this award. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us sure, today. Sure. Thank Mrs. you, Jennifer. Hanwha.